Hello! That was weird. Why? I don't know what to do with my hands. Hello. If you're confused, in my last video that I posted on my channel here, I basically explained that I have been taking a vlogging slash social media hiatus for the past like month and a half to two months because my mental health has been deteriorating quickly. So that's fun. In my last video, I explained that despite not vlogging for the past month because I've been too busy having panic attacks and being depressed, I said that I still wanted to be posting videos on here because editing and posting and interacting with everyone and sharing my life truly does bring me an indescribable amount of happiness, but the current vlogging is not. So I asked in my last video if it would be okay if I posted old footage now. <laughs> and so many people said that they would love to watch that as long as I'm posting, they just wanna see content, they wanna be able to see my life. And so that's what we're doing today. Today's vlog is all about my family vacation that I took at the beginning of October. At the time of filming this vlog, I hadn't seen my extended family, AKA my best friend and cousin Emma and her three children in 367 days. So this was a glorious reunion. The kids and I were ecstatic. My dad ended up renting out this giant lake house somewhere in Northern Virginia. I can't remember exactly where, I think Lake Anna. And my mom, dad, my sibling, and their boyfriend, their child, my cousin slash best friend, Emma, her husband, Emerson, and their three children and myself all got together and gathered at this lake house for an entire week so that we could see each other and spend time together. And Elle unfortunately could not come because she couldn't take off that week for work. And so she had to stay home in Texas with Frankie, but I got to fly out. I got to see my family. I got to see my nieces and nephews for the first time in 367 days. And basically this whole vlog is just gonna be about our week together, all the adventures we had, all the cute little things that my nieces and nephews do. And I do want to explain, hold on. Oh my God, my niece. I did wanna hop on here because I know that I'm going to get a ton of people that get very angry that I posted this vlog because at the lake house is my nephew who's four, my niece who's three, my other nephew who's one and some change, and then my other niece that's also four, almost five. I think so many birthdays, I'm terrible with birthdays. I can never remember anyone's birthday or age, but basically any footage I have of them, there's going to be a blur over their face, okay? And we don't need to get into the politics and the ethics of kids being on the internet. You do you, but for my family, I will not be showing the kids faces. I will not be showing them in diapers or bathing suits and you won't know their names. And I know some people are gonna be pissed at me and be like, well, why are you even posting the footage if you're just gonna blur their faces? Because it's footage I want. It's footage that I think is so cute. The memories are so precious. And I do want to share with you guys because it brings me so much joy. I know that it'll bring other people so much joy but I do have to keep the kids safe. I know I'm gonna get so many comments of people, one, being pissed that their faces are blurred. And to that I say, you need to do some introspecting. If you are so angry that you feel the need to make a comment on a wholesome family video that you're mad because you don't know my nephew's name and what my niece looks like, do some introspecting. I want to share my life with you and this is how I'm choosing to share my life with you. So if you can stand the thought of not knowing my nieces and nephews names, if you can stand the thought of there being a tiny little blur over their face, but still you can enjoy the content, then this video is for you and I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you're just one of those people that's just gonna get pissed for no reason, uh, get some help, do some therapy because you should not get that angry over not knowing what a random four-year-old looks like. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video. Let's just hop right into it.
Yeah, try. Yeah, you can try. Here, hold it. Whoa! <gasps> that is so cool. You got a whole chair to yourself. I took my shoes off. Oh, you want me to? Well, you gotta hold the camera then. Okay, great. Yep. Go ahead and just. You can do before. I have been fishing before, yeah. But normally I make daddy put the worms on for me. <laughs> I'm just a little lady. But now we got this. Oh, oh thank you, Bobs. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Country life. Okay, it's recording. Say what you want to say. Hi, this is and I don't know what to do and I can't find daddy, okay? This is me, but I can should. Say like and subscribe. I want to say I'm quiet. Hi, this is me and my Bobby. It's me now. This is me, but I can't know what to do, so I really want the populace to cheer me up. He really wants a, a populace to cheer him up? That's what I've heard. So, bye. And then point it towards me. Am I in it? Mm -hmm. And then what should I what should I say? What would you talk about? Um, you gotta say, why Son is got to call you? Why Son is got to call you? And the, not the phone. And not the phone. Can I have a bite? Thank you. Are <laughs> 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 you singing? But everybody else, but everybody lives mostly. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Ding. <laughs> some Italians, and a few stickies. My nibblings and I, oh, can you focus? God. My nibblings and I are very obsessed with having dance parties. We have since the day that your first one popped out of the womb. So we do dance parties every night, and I decided I wanted to make, I'm out of breath. I went, I went up and down the stairs 
one time. I decided I wanted to make a rave for them so that they can have baby's first rave. So I bought some light up rave sticks. I bought some disco lights. We're in the basement of our lake home and we're gonna set up baby's first rave. <laughs> First rave. Yeah, baby. Wait, wait, wait. It's not as good as I said. Okay, okay, okay. Baby, first rave. You ready for your first rave? Go bellow for your nibblings. We're ready. You ready? Ready. things that interest me, even when they have no practical right. use, like sports statistics, historical facts. Does it calm you to spin around or rock in a chair if you're feeling stressed? Sometimes, Sometimes a thought or a subject gets stuck in your mind and you have to talk about it even if no one is interested. Mom, yes. tell them to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Say please. Please and thank please. you. Please and thank you. Yeah. Do what she says. Now. <laughs> do it now. Okay, we'll wait here until you do it. We'll do it. Yeah. I have a stare awkwardly right into here. Like and subscribe. Do it now. No, mom, have this like stern face. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah, but like now we're just staring at them oh. until they do it. Like. <laughs> mom, are you looking stern? I'm trying. Stern, but fair. <laughs> I'm not sure I know how to look stern. Furrow your brow. Okay, furrowed. Oh, okay. wait, your bun's covering me. Sorry. Hello? Hello? Mom, do your best. Hello? Cheers. Hello? That was pretty That's good. Pretty good. That's it. Fit check. You have to step over here. Again, then you have to tell me where everything is from. Where's the shirt from? Oh, my closet. Okay, and the shorts? Well, they're from my closet, too. But okay. I have my dress slippers on and my wine celebratory socks. And why are we dressed all fancy? Because it's my birthday dinner. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> I don't know if it's the Virginia allergies that I haven't been exposed to in two years or if I literally have a cold, but it's all sitting right here. I woke up this morning, my throat hurt so bad. I was so stuffy yet drainy at the same time. My sibling was very nice. I went to the store and got me anti decongest, what is it, decongestant and Anahistam I don't know what they got, but they got me one pill for allergies in case it's allergies and then one pill for like colds to get rid of like the sinus pressure. So whatever. I basically I woke up, I ate a giant bowl of spaghetti. We took the kids kayaking and to play in the water. Then we came back inside and I took a shower because that lake water is nasty. And then I took about a three and a half hour nap. And I've awoken just in time for dinner. So I'm gonna go eat now and then probably go back to sleep. So that's fun. I love this for me. I have profusely apologized to everyone because I feel so guilty that apparently I brought sickness with me, but no one else is sick so far. So hopefully it stays that way. Okay, wait, show them your work, show them your work. Yeah. 
I get, made this. Get another hand angle. How long has it been since I've had this? Over a year. No, it's been like oh, two, 18 months. 18 months too 18 long. 18 long months. <laughs> Show them your technique. Oh, well, I thought we were gonna do it together, but. Oh, oh. It's okay. good, it's good. <laughs> Oh, it's a little. Oh. My flaky, my buttery flaky crust. That she won't eat. And your and. Oh God. Okay. Well, so here's the thing. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God, she made this from scratch. How many grannies did you bring with you? I brought eight. Eight grannies. Eight grannies made it in there. To be fair, I basically made this pie myself because I peeled your grannies for you. It's true. So and then I napped for three hours. Well, it was a it was a it was a really hard job. It was like when I held the baby for, for 20, 20 minutes, minutes. Yes, <laughs> and then made mom give me a massage. <laughs> okay, so you're stalling. gonna taste your hard work. Okay, hey, you gotta help him out, and then you have to like make a uh, weird face in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna stare. At it. Emma, mm -hmm. how can I describe this? Poetically. Let me think of the words. Okay. They're coming to mind. Mm -hmm. Just bussin'. <laughs> 10 out of 10. If I could smash a pie, it would be, be this the one. one. <laughs> She'd be the one. This is the first pie. <gasps> my dad is trying to cut himself a slice of my pie. I gave him a plate of pie and he's, again, he's so <laughs> ungrateful. Hey, uh, is it an Emily vlog if she isn't burping during the... <laughs> I normally cut it out because people get offended. Really? Yeah. Gross. Mom, that's somewhere you could. You love me for who I am. What? Market what? Burping. I'm sure someone would pay lofty amounts of money. For okay, let me know down in the comments. If I were to burp into a Ziploc bag, oh. seal it shut, and sell I it. I already know. I already know. <laughs> there are people in this arena mm -hmm. that would pay for mm -hmm. such a good honestly we need to we're casually putting this out here but yeah. what would what would be like the starting point i would do this for like 50 bucks oh i was thinking like 20. <laughs> i think 20 is reasonable that's what i'm saying for a burp yeah well i guess i could charge for different flavors of burps oh. an apple pie burp like 50 bucks because it's sweet and comforting mm -hmm. a garlic burp it depends on how you feel. Like Everyone's... a garlic bread burp? Yeah. I've heard of like jerk farts, but not jerk. No, that's a thing. Burp. Right. Yeah. But that's about it for, app thank you for coming to Apple, Apple Pie, pie Talk. Hour. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Apple Pie time. We've never said Talk. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Apple oh. Pie oh. Hour. Okay, and one, wait, what did we settle on? Apple Pie Hour. Obviously, because we call every day Apple Hour, remember? Oh, Apple Hour. Oh my god, you forgot so, about our time. No, 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 no. Okay. okay. Go. Uh, 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 welcome back, no. <laughs> Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> hope you enjoyed <laughs> Apple Pie Hour with Emily and Emma. Come back next year. Seven. Say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Or you'll be disappointed in them. Or I'll be very disappointed in you. My turn. Okay. Ballerina. Yeah. Dolphin. Robot. Robot. <laughs> that was me. Egyptian. No. Pharaoh. Narwhal. Um, Narwhal. A unicorn. A unicorn. A rhino. What are you doing? I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. That is not. That a giraffe. is literally the dance from I Want to Walk for an Egyptian. So I don't know. I'm a giraffe. No, you're not. Sure. This is my tail and this is my head. <laughs> Yoga. Yoga. Buddha. Flamingo. Gypsy in the bottle, baby. Rami. I know. Robbie. Where am I? A flamingo! <laughs> There's some cheatery going on here. You're turtle. A rock. Um. A turtle. Turtle. A turtle. Gymnast. Yoga. Yoga. Gymnast. Gymnast. Um. A pelican. Um. Flamingo. A flamingo. Oh, no, flamingo. I was a different breed. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning.
We're headed to the pumpkin patch. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's 20 minutes away. We're listening to Miss Rachel. <laughs> Me already, but we have the pumpkin pass, so bye. So I can't know what to do, so I'm gonna go to the pumpkin pass right now. Thank you. Put you in your pocket. I will put them in my pocket. What's this? You ready? Do I want to what? I want to go swim. Do I want to go swim? It's now 117. We've made it this far. <laughs> the entrance is over there. Uh huh. And then 118. We've made it this far. <laughs> species which shares its name with a computer acronym and an NFL team is the only animal known to engage in its If you were, I feel like as your videographer. Yeah. Put your shoes in the mind of my viewers. What if we do a talent show? Uh, I think your viewers want a talent show. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> act one. What should act one be? Act one. Improv. But like drama. Like give me a scene. Okay. 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 Scene. We're at the beach. Okay. But you came in too quick. You're at the beach. But you've lost your beloved memoir you were writing on the cliffs. Okay. And action. Oh no. Oh me, oh my. I have been working so hard on a memoir about my life for the past seven days. Somehow I lost it. Did it get swept out to sea? Whatever will I do? Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's over here. <laughs> How about gymnastics? Part Something two. you're good at. Part two. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Action. 
<laughs> That's so impressive. Final act. There's a lot to choose from. Yeah, I'm I'm multi talented. Yeah. Um, you could do. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Yeah. Um, you could probably do. Hmm. Oh, sand art. Ah, join me. Oh, oh well, you gotta say part three. Okay. And then I'm gonna hop into the frame. Got it. Okay. Part three. Action. Sand art. Oh. Starting off strong. Mm hmm Wait. Mm hmm It's better. Oh, wow. You can't tell what it is yet. You must come over here. Oh, of course. Can you tell? Oh. oh it is. It's you. Oh, wow. What do I say, then? Um, End. Oh. You're welcome. Finn. Finn. Like and subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe. Oh, dear God. Hello, it's me. I haven't been vlogging because I've been hanging out with my family. Sorry. Um, plus, I'm sick. I'm sick. And my dad just asked me if he should start calling me Flemily <laughs> because I can't stop coughing. So that was great. But now we're about to make some smiz. Um, there's no fire. We're working on it. Is it going? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Point it up here. Oh. <laughs> Where does he go? Over this way. This way. Welcome back. Oh, no. Oh, it's not a picture. Oh. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, he was recording. Like and subscribe. <laughs> much because I've been when I pull out my vlog camera the kids think it's fun picture time and so they snatch it out of my hand and go play with it and so I haven't really been carrying my vlog camera around much plus I'm trying to be like very present with my family because again I haven't seen them in a very long time also a lot of the activities we're doing are repetitive because anyone that has kids you know you kind of do the same things once you find something your kid likes you continue to do it because it makes them happy and a happy kid is a happy parents so we've been going like down to the water a lot and kayaking and splashing around and playing and fishing and all the stuff you've already seen and so there's really no point in re-vlogging it but anyway today is very exciting because also p.s welcome to adhd hour with emily i don't understand how beauty influencers or just regular influencers get ready and vlog at the same time because i can only do one thing at a time i'm a great multitasker but when it comes to makeup and vlogging for some reason i cannot 
push the two together because right now all I want to do is lean like this and do my eyebrows but then you won't be able to see me and that's not good content so I'll just tell you real quick why I'm excited for today. I'm talking to a talent agent today and again I have the world's biggest, hugest, largest imposter syndrome. I only have at this point 21.6 thousand followers on YouTube. I only have like 17.5 on Instagram. And to me, I'm like, there's no way I can sign with an agent until I'm at least at 50,000 on YouTube and at least at 50,000 on Instagram. But my friends who you met in my previous vlog, Sam and Alyssa, who are influencers, I was talking to them about it, about how I'm so sick of like YouTube demonetizing me or finding reasons not to pay me my full amount or Instagram shadow banning me or TikTok shadow banning me. But basically I was just talking about how frustrating it is trying to create a platform and become an influencer when all of these platforms keep taking away my money or my views so it's really hard to depend and focus solely on social media and that career when it's not like a guaranteed paycheck so instead of putting as much time as I want to into social media I'm still spending a lot of time on my company because that's guaranteed money when I should because this is what I want to be doing I should be taking that time and energy and focusing into social media but because it's not a guaranteed paycheck I can't take that risk right now. So I was complaining to Sam and Alyssa about this and they were like, well, what about brand deals? And I told them I've had one brand deal and it was amazing. It was with Balesa. Shout out to you. I loved working with them. They are a great company, but I haven't had any other companies reach out again. And so they were just like, well, why don't you get an agent? And I said, because I'm a, a small little creator and agents would laugh at me if I reached out to them and said, hey, do you want to be my agent? And they'd say, ha ha ha, you silly little child. You don't have enough followers for us to care about. And they're like, no, that's dumb. We're going to call our agent and see if she has any openings or if she can take some smaller creators. And they did because they're amazing and I love them. Shout out to them. Here's their social handles. Not that they need my shout out because they have a lot more followers than I do. So they ended up reaching out to their agent. Their agent said she would love to have a call with me. So I don't know if anything's actually going to come of this or if like she's just being nice and doing them a favor, but it's still a big deal. I'm really excited about it. So I'm trying to, I'm down to like 15 minutes. I'm trying to get ready really quickly um, so that I look semi put together for this meeting so she doesn't think I'm a complete loser. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. I really don't know what to expect. I sent her all of my social handles. She said she was going to look over those and get an idea of who I am and what my content is and that we could discuss like what her company is and what she would be able to offer me and whatever. But again, I don't know if she's actually going to end up offering me anything or if this is just a favor. So we'll see, but either way, very excited. I don't know, imposter syndrome setting in. I feel weird. I also feel like I did a really poor idea explaining why I need her. Um, if you don't know how social media works, you either earn your money from views and subscribers or you earn your money through brand deals. And if I sign with an agent, the agent would bring me brand deals. So normally when a brand wouldn't even know that I existed, this agent would reach out to the brand and be like, hey, I have this really awesome creator who's beautiful and smart and funny and amazing and perfect and has a juicy, juicy booty. And she'd be like, hey, sign with them. She can get you some views and some clicks and whatever. And then um, I would promote them and then the brand would pay me. So that is why a lot of creators have agents and especially why you see a lot of bigger creators having agents because if you have an agent that is guaranteed to bring you brand deals and money and income, you can do whatever, you, well not whatever, but you can be whoever you wanna be on your social media because you don't have to worry about YouTube demonetizing you or taking away your money or you not being ad friendly. So if I can get in with an agent and they bring me guaranteed brand deals and a certain amount of income every month, then I don't have to worry so much about like YouTube taking away my money or TikTok and Instagram shadow banning me. So it'd be really cool and it's a really cool opportunity. Um, so thank you, Sam and Melissa. Shout out to you. Appreciate you. Love you. You're amazing. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys after the meeting and let you know how it goes. But right now, I gotta get ready because I'm down to 13 minutes. Okay, bye. I love disheveled. Only because I just got done playing zombie. I had my meeting. It was a sympathy meeting. It was a favor. She gave me lots of good advice though. I'll tell you more about it later, but we're about to head to the farm. Not like the, your dog's going to the farm. We're actually heading to the farm. So I'm gonna bring you along with us and then I'll tell you about my sympathy meeting later. I'm panicked. Also, I still have gold. <gasps> Yeehaw! Can I get a yeehaw? Yeehaw! Oh, okay. Can I get a yeehaw? Yeehaw! Thank you. No age limit. A cow. A cow. I love cows. Hi. 
I love you. I do, I love you so much. Okay. Oh my goodness. I love cows. I love you. You are good. You are good and pure. Ooh, so many flies. Ugh. Gerald, I have nothing for you, and you terrify me. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. It's giving Susan. Oh, oh, <laughs> you get one more. Okay, that was it. That was it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm hmm. Did you just say Spongebob? Yeah. Minion. <laughs> Ariana, what are you doing here? No fear. What's the likelihood of him catching me? He'll try to catch you. He might. Coming out of cold season. Yeah. I don't know. Just crotch bad. first. Good lord. You think you? Very fast. It is very fast.
Thank you.